Hi everybody, good evening. I am Kristen DeFrancisco, current principal of the Gibbs sixth grade school, and I'm coming out to you tonight to talk a little bit about project-based learning. Project-based learning is something that your fifth graders into sixth graders will be able to benefit from as they start their education at Gibbs. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what project-based learning actually is. So I am going to present my screen to you and I have a slide deck prepared that will help you to start to get to understand what we mean when we say project-based learning. Um, oftentimes, you know, people think project-based learning means that a, there's a, a product attached to, to the project, like a poster board or uh, an oral presentation, or maybe even in my day of growing up a diorama, let's say. But project-based learning is really much more than that. Gold standard project-based learning has certain hallmarks um, and components. And so I'll talk a little bit about those. Um, gold standard PBL has seven essential design elements and the project is driven by a challenging problem or question. At Gibbs, we've acknowledged that this type of learning is new for students and that the skills that they need in order to engage in seven essential design elements with, driven by a challenging problem or question, those skills really still need to be developed. So we affectionately have called it Rose Gold, and we've designed a program that releases responsibility out to students over three trimesters. So if you're thinking about the gold standard project-based learning, those areas, those seven areas are a challenging problem or question, sustained inquiry, authenticity, student voice and choice, reflection, critique and revision, and a public product. And this kind of learning really makes school more engaging. Kids are really engaged in, in their projects. Um, it improves learning. It builds success skills for college, career, and life. It addresses standards. It provides opportunities for the use of technology, real good uses of technology, not just sending an email or um, using a calendar. Um, connects students with school, community, and real world, and promotes educational equity. So these are the seven real hallmarks, and our projects certainly do that, but I'll talk a little bit about how we also embed opportunities for kids to build skills that will help them do this kind of learning for the rest of their education and beyond. So Gibbs has made these acknowledgements, planning, prioritizing, managing time, organizing, persisting, taking notes, using technology, and working in groups flexibly, as well as reflecting, are all things that students are going to need to be able to do to successfully participate in a project-based learning environment. And this is the perfect time to start talking about these things because in sixth grade, what we know about sixth grade is developmentally, their frontal lobe is ready to grow and ready to learn all of these different skills. So we designed this in a way to release responsibility out to our students. So for example, in trimester one, our students have historically engaged in answering a que the question, why is a sixth grade only school a great place to go to sixth grade? What are the advantages? Are there disadvantages? Um, that was a wonderful project. Kids really got into learning about the brain and understanding where they were developmentally. I'm uh, hoping that this will be repeated trimester one next year. And if it isn't this exactly, it will be something very much like it. Um, in trimester two, students engaged in, in a teacher-led topic, and they may be working in smaller groups on an aspect of the topic. Um, one this year was around practice of a new talent or skill. Another was about, about building their own company. And that's usually a teacher-driven topic. And then by trimester three, students are engaging in a choose-your-own-adventure. And this could be something that is related to school community or the community at large. So over those three trimesters, students really get to see how it works. They get to see it again with a little bit more participation. And then they really get to engage and build up to that gold standard project-based learning. So as we've made these 
we've made these acknowledgements, all of those different skills that we would be asking students to build have been put into the project experiences. And what you might um, find that you are going to be working on at home over the summer. Um, you know, this, I actually put this together, this piece of this together for our current sixth graders, but I'm going to share it with you as well, because I think that there are things that you can do in your summer adventures in subject areas that might help you to um, get your child ready for a project-based learning experience. So science, you might think about a cause in, in the area, and maybe it has to do with a local conservation area or an animal that is endangered here. And starting to do some research around those things and just getting to know about it will help build skills for project-based learning. In math, you might collect data around something and discover a question it might lead you to. What does that data make you wonder about? In ELA, you might think about adopting a book to read as a family around social justice. Find a question within that social justice topic. In social studies, you could define civics for your child. You think about something that your child might be wondering about and where you could go for more information. In the arts, messages in music, artists who recycle. The world of arts has so many great questions. So why is it important to our schools? These are all things you can grapple with with your children over the summer um, and they will help to start to embed that habit of mind about questioning and wondering. Physical education, why is exercise important on so many levels? What certain exercises do what? What kind of program would you put together to stay healthy as a family and why? You know, some of these things you might relate to being on a pandemic, other things you might even relate to current events that are going on in the world right now. Um, and so being able to embed the, the, these kinds of conversations into your summer adventures will certainly help your children start to get used to thinking and wondering and answering questions um, that may interest them. And so that is just a little bit of a sneak peek about project-based learning and what it looks like at Gibbs. It's really one of the most exciting things I feel like that we were able to carve out time for in our schedule as we launched the school. Um, it really does acknowledge the fact that project-based learning environments are environments that your students will, your children will need to be proficient at managing and navigating while also understanding that sixth graders are really just starting to get to use that part of their brain that helps them organize all the things you need to organize in order to do this kind of work. And so I think we're really proud of the way that we've embedded this into students' schedules and look forward to sharing it with your fifth graders and sixth graders very soon. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. And I'll see you this week when I vlog again, most likely about giving you a little information about anxiety and, and stress and, and why it happened. There's a hello from Winnie. She wanted to get in on the vlog too. So I'll be seeing you soon and um, enjoy the week.